In this video, what we are going to do is learn how to activate the feedback in real time. The first thing we have to do is turn on our encoder. And we're going to stick it to a metal disc weight with its magnets so it won't move when we do reps. Okay, now that we've turned on our encoder, we have to wait for it to connect. If we click up here, it will connect automatically because that's how we set it up. We start a new training session by selecting the athlete we want to train with. We select the exercise, the weight, and we go here to this tab, which is the training settings area, this gear here, and all the way up at the top, we find the feedback. First thing we have to do is activate it because it will be deactivated. So we activate it and then check the type of feedback we want it to tell us. We're going to see several types. The most common is velocity. So let's choose velocity and make sure we have the volume on full, in this case, on the tablet. We start the exercise, and now when we do reps, we should hear our velocity out loud. 059. OK, since I have my tablet in English, it says it in English. If I had it in Spanish, it would say it in Spanish or whatever language you have it set to. 061. 065. Okay. We can see it works perfectly, and it tells us this data, which is our velocity. But we can also have feedback on our power, our max velocity, or our ROM. Now let's do an example with a different variable. For example, our power. We go back here again. Okay. And now it tells us our power out loud. 467.22. Okay, it gave us this data, and it's a little bit longer. 487.25. Okay. And it would be the same with any other variables. When we want to deactivate it, if we simply click here, and now we can see it won't say anything. Okay? And it doesn't say anything. 